Welcome to our second uh, light sensor tutorial. Um, this program you will see is much more complex than the last one. It features um, a loop and a switch and uh, some other uh, move, move blocks. The goal with my program here is I not only want my robot to move forward and find the black line, but once it finds the black line, I would like it to follow, that follow the black line forever. So what you may notice is that I have built on the three blocks of code I had in the previous video that had the robot move forward in a straight line infinitely uh, using motors A and C. I'm asking it to receive input from a light sensor there in the second block. And when the light sensor is activated in the third block, the robot um, it, it will stop motors A and C. Then my robot's going to turn left, as you will see using only motor A. And it then begins the series that is in the loop. The loop will have the robot repeat um, the behavior inside the loop, in this case forever, um, because there is no data input coming in on the back end here of the program, and you'll see the infinity sign there highlighted. Um, inside the loop is a switch. You can um, use the switch in many different ways. In this case, I'm asking um, for the switch to receive input from the light sensor, and the robot's going to switch between the two programs of code um, in the top and here in the bottom. In the top line of code, we have motor A stopped and motor C uh, moving again infinitely. On uh, the bottom line, we have, you'll see motor C stopped, and then we have A rotating infinitely. Um, if you pan down here in the bottom, you'll notice this is um, actually this last block in the bottom of the switch that um, motor motor A is operating on, on power 50, um, and motor C um, in the top line of code is also uh, moving on power 50. That way the robot travels essentially in a straight line. If they had been unequal, um, it would likely rotate off uh, one side and we would not have that behavior of falling in a straight line. So um, over here you will see the robot. Um, I have already downloaded the program so you will not see that happen in this particular video. And I'm going to activate my robot detects the line, and there you see that rocking back and forth is actually the, the switch um, part of the program. And you can see the green line disrupts it slightly, but the robot then finds the black line and continues to move forward. So um, the challenge now is for you to create a similar program. Have fun, teams.